It's never easy to tell about my story. But I always hope that it will inspire people to know that anything is possible. Hopefully they'll come and want to be a part of what we're doing. You can go to another coffee shop, not mentioning any names. You could go to another coffee shop. You don't know where that money's going, but here, when you come here, it's going for something good. All right, that'll be 374. If you go inside, you'll see everything's made out of pallets. And that was because I had had my husband, he does construction, so I was saving pallets because I wanted him to make me pallet furniture that I saw on Pinterest. And so we had like 80 pallets in our backyard. And um, he said, okay, this is what we'll start with, you know. I would say the majority of the time they don't know, but our baristas and those behind the counter will ask them, is this your first time here? And if they say yes, then they'll say, well, do you know about what we're about? And they'll explain to them what we're about. And then they're like, oh, wow, I just thought this was about coffee, but it's more than coffee. The reason for the passion of human trafficking is because when I was a child, I was trafficked. For many years, I didn't talk about it and I have memories that are blocked out of my mind still today. There's times I didn't think there was hope and um, there was a lot of despair. And so now my goal is to bring hope to others and any person that I can um, give love to, I, I love to mother people and let them feel loved. And so I do that here locally as well as globally. It's hard um, to stand up and tell your story, but we want to do it because we want people, we hope that they'll finally listen to our voice. There's a lot, so many years that no one's listened and we want them to listen for a good reason because we want to protect our, our future children, my grandson, your, your grandchildren, your, your children, whatever, we want them protected. And so it's about the future.